Good morning. Well, it is an absolutely beautiful day here in Savannah Ket. Blue skies, a little bit of cloud, hardly any wind. And we've just checked out the hotel. We went and had breakfast this morning, just around the corner, and a great breakfast it was as well. Great place. I've really enjoyed my stay this time here in Savannah Ket. Lots to do. The night market here in Savannah Ket's got a lot better, so that's well worth visiting plenty of food stalls down there so a great choice and I've noticed a lot more shops that have opened up as well over the last four years since I was last here so great place cafes bars they're more of a cafe stroke bar over here it's a little bit of a cafe bar culture I think rather than just bars they tend to be cafe cafes as well uh, but great I've really enjoyed it that hotel um, great place to stay I can't really say much more it's basic accommodation but it's clean it's tidy every work, everything works fine and for 418 baht you just can't go wrong and it's pretty well located close to the town it's only five ten minutes walk walking into the main area so it's nothing you don't need taxis all the time we're going to have some lunch the taxi man is already waiting for us he has offered to take us down wherever we want to go and then up to the embassy and the bridge for no extra charge but I want to do some filming and I can't do it on the tuk-tuk because of the noise of the tuk-tuk itself so I said thank you but we'll just walk down and then we'll come back to the hotel we're going up to the embassy about 1.30 they open two o'clock so hopefully we can get the passport and then cross over the bridge pretty sharpish our next destination is Buriram and then from Buriram we're going to be going into Bangkok and staying in Bangkok one day Bury round one day and then home to Phuket. So we've taken in a few places uh, and I hope we've got some more interesting spots to see. Of course, I've not done much filming in Bangkok for my channel, well, I haven't done any at all. Um, so I've been wanting to go into Bangkok. We're only there for a day, but I shall try and fit in as much as I can and uh, give you a snapshot of Bangkok. But first, Bury Ram, which is, of course, famous for the race circuit. Um, so I'm looking forward to that. I have visited Buriram before on my last trip when I came on my motorbike up to here. Um, but I didn't get much chance to have a look around Buriram itself because I got there quite late in the evening and then I left the following morning. But this time we're going to drive down this evening or this afternoon, five hours from here. Hopefully we'll be there for around 7pm 7, 7 um, so we can have a quick look around at night and then we're going to spend the morning time in Buriram and leave around lunchtime for Bangkok getting to Bangkok hopefully again sort of five six seven o'clock in the evening and then catch the BTS system into Bangkok because I'm not going into the center of Bangkok with my car because it's going to be too busy but for now I will catch you a little bit later on okay so I want to show you this little place that we found yesterday we walked past it and I'm going to have a sandwich here because I do like the, the sandwiches with the pork and I thought it might be just a great little place to have a quick lunch so that's going to order me a combo and hopefully it should look like that and it is 20,000 kip so some of the loud people here they talk Thai good and sometimes they don't Thank you. Thank you. So, combo deal, which was 20,000 kip, as I say, we've got a bottle of Pepsi, and then the sandwich itself. So, this works out at 42 baht, so that's not too close. And it's like a little toasty sandwich. For a quick lunch or something like that, 42 baht, can't go wrong. Good evening, well we've just arrived in Borirum from Mukdahan today. It's just before 7 o'clock in the evening so I'm going to grab a shot of where we're staying and this place is called the GT Residence and it looks really nice. They've even got a swimming pool here so really good. 650 bar tonight. Come through the immigration from Lao, no problem at all. Pick my passport up, no problem with the visa. 
through Thai immigration um, this afternoon again no real problems to be honest with you and then we've made our way to Buri Rum and that's already checked in and they've actually given us an upgrade uh, free of charge so I don't know we had booked a double room I don't know what they've now oh they've upgraded us to a suite oh well because it actually said on Agoda that they were sold out of the suites so I hadn't got the option but obviously they're not so there's a swimming pool not massive but it's nice very nice and we're going to be spending this evening and tomorrow morning here so we're going to have a look around and see what's on offer we're going to visit the night market shortly because there's a night market in Buri Rum like a lot of places in Thailand you'll always find a night market we'll probably get some food there and then tomorrow we'll have an explore around the town etc got a lot of trophies I'm not quite sure what these trophies are for but of course Buri Rum is very famous for its race circuit so yeah I'm guessing these are racing super turbo so race trophies so awful lot of race trophies so I'm guessing the owners into racing and the owner might be a German guy because uh, he got a Porsche GT there and obviously Porsche is German so I'm sort of guessing and they, the sort of badge is very similar to the Porsche badges I don't know I'm just guessing that it might might be German not 100 percent sure uh, large car park there's a small gym there as well I can see and oh, that's quite good what floor are we on so we've got a suite have we yeah. that's quite good okay excellent no extra charge so 650 baht a night this hotel is there's no breakfast is there Nat? Nat? Hmm? no breakfast in an acting, yes, oh in okay she not ask so i don't think there's breakfast included in the room uh, but we're not sure there is a restaurant here i know they do do breakfast but i'm not sure if we've got one included in our price uh, i didn't book on a go that we just walked in basically uh, a few do you know what, what what room number we're looking for Nat? b2 b2 okay so it's going to be one of these b2 there on the right hand side so let's go and take a quick look at the room so we finally sorted out the lights a little bit of a strange setup with the lights there is a mini fridge there's a kettle and a tv air conditioner of course on the wall you can see um i wouldn't really class this as a suite room uh, Suites normally have a separate room from the bedroom, but there you go. They're classing this as a suite, but it's a nice room, not too bad. And I'm not complaining if it's a free upgrade, so I haven't paid any extra and I wasn't expecting it, just a double room. And the bathroom, WC, we do have a bathtub, which is unusual for Thailand. A nice shower above it. We have sink, mirror, and presuming we have some towels somewhere. Don't see where the towels are. Oh, they're on the bed. Okay. So there you go. Not too shabby. 650 baht. Okay, so I'm now going to go and get the bags out of the car. We're going to unpack what we need to unpack. And then I shall come back to you in a short while once we make our way into Burry Rump.